Hey, quick note before uh, this episode begins. Uh, next week, there won't be a new episode of Bochi the Rock. I'm taking a half week off for Thanksgiving. Uh, I, I know it's after Thanksgiving when this is being posted, but still, you know, schedules, stuff like that. Anyway, uh, next week, there won't be a new episode of Bochi the Rock. We'll be back in two weeks for uh, episode six, I believe we're, we're on. So, yeah, see you guys there. Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Bochi the Rock. Last time around, we had Jumping Girl. Zzz. You got you got you got to put the parentheses s next to it. So, uh, so yeah, uh, the gang met up. The band, the band got together to take promotional images, which went about as well as you would expect. Uh, Bochi was also having a hard time with the lyrics, and. Uh, didn't know, like, should she write her own, you know, what she would want to normally write, or should she write, you know, just general, regular, normal person lyrics or what, but, uh, she had to talk with Rio, and Rio was like, no, you gotta write, you gotta write for you, so she did, and the ED of last episode was the first song, technically, I guess it's the third song, because there's the original OP and the original ED that are technically... I don't know, but it's it's the first song in canon that Bochi has written for Kesoku Band. And I said I would show this off to you guys, but I did last week. Oh no, the reflection. Uh, here, there we go. Just sort of angle it down a little bit. Last week I did get uh, my copy of the Kesoku Band album. Uh, came in pretty quickly, like less than a week uh, to ship over from Japan, so that was pretty good. Uh... Funny thing is, uh, I ordered this through, uh, it shipped through DHL. I didn't realize DHL was stuck, like, in the 90s, because there was a whole thing of, like, hey, you're gonna have to sign for it, unless you, unless you set up this thing so that you don't have to sign for it. I was like, sign for it? Just, I don't know, just leave it on the porch or something. So I went in, I went in and gave them instructions to put it in the mailbox, uh, but when I said, just put it in the mailbox, uh, they were, <laughs> a little thing popped up, and it was like, you can't put the word mailbox. So I just put a hyphen between mail and box. I don't know. DHL is weird, but hey, I got my album. And yeah, I got it. I have not listened to it yet. I said I was going to wait on it uh, until after the season had ended. But yeah, this this jewel case is like r a little difficult to open, but I got it. Uh, but yeah, but we got the nice, lovely CD. Uh, we have this uh, spine cover. Uh, I don't know, like, how, like, if I'm supposed to put it on, like, the thing. I mean, it's a spine cover, but, like, there's no way of, like, holding it onto there. So, uh, so I've just kind of been putting it up with the, uh, with the uh, little booklet, because that's the thing is, the cover is actually the uh, booklet. And, uh, funny enough, <laughs> funny enough... Uh, as you would expect, it just I just didn't think about it when I first opened this. But uh, it is a lyric book. It's just in Japanese, so I have no idea what it says. So, yeah, well, maybe I'll learn someday. Uh, but, yeah. But I got this. My brother called me a mega weeb, but I don't care. I got the Kesoku Band album, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, so yeah, once the season is over, I will listen to this uh on my own time it'll be great it's so nice and cool look at it. look at look at look at our daughter look at our daughter she's so she's so adorable it's it's so nice so yeah um i'm just gonna leave it over here i won't like prop it up or anything uh probably and i probably i don't know because I, I i used to i used to have like when i used to do reaction shows i used to have like a prop that i would put here i guess i could if i just like prop this open a little bit if I just, like, prop this open a little bit, I could just sort of leave it, like, here. It, you know what? We'll leave it there for the episode. Oh, I meant to put the, uh... meant to put the, uh, spine cover back in here. So... <coughs> um, sure. Let's just leave it on the table for now. I don't know if I'll keep doing this next episode, but for the moment, I will leave the album here for us all to see. So... Yeah, it's super cool. I really like this. Um, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy it at the end of the season. But we're not going to get to the end of the season unless we get moving. Uh, granted, I mean, there's like eight episodes left, so it's going to be a while. But yeah, like always, the reaction is down in, in the description and the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. So let's go ahead and jump right into this episode of Bochi the Rock. Here we go. Oh, 
Now I gotta look up. I'm not crazy, was I? I'm not crazy, was I? Did I just say that? Okay. So this is just... They're just gonna stick to this one for a little while. Alright, cool. Far out. I don't think I used this song at the end of the last video we did. You know, when I do the, the end screen and I have the music. I didn't put this on. Well, maybe I will now. So. Uh, they did it. Barely, but they did it. Honestly, it makes sense. Uh, the sister, whatever her name is, uh, the, the manager, that she's being particularly hard on them. And to be fair, they do need to get better, you know? They do definitely need to get better, but at the same time, it's like they are really friggin' good. But you know what it is? And, and this oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. It's definitely friggin' boy who watches anime tries watching Bochi the Rock. Uh, I'm going to compare it to Dragon Ball. Because of course I am. Um, I'm going to compare it to Dragon Ball. Where in... And the original Dragon Ball. Where in the first World Martial Arts tournament that they had. Uh, just after Goku and Krillin learned martial arts from Master Roshi. And Master Roshi... Spoiler alert. Entered, uh, entered the tournament himself... Uh, disguised as martial artist Jackie Chun. And basically what he wanted to do was beat them so that they wouldn't get a big head. Because he thought, well, if, if they win, if either of them wins the World Martial Arts Tournament, they're going to think, that's it. They have succeeded, they are the best, and they're not going to do anything anymore. So he went in to defeat them to make sure they could always keep growing and keep improving. That's exactly what he did. He beat both of them. So... um. So yeah, that that's basically what that was, and it, that's kind of what this reminds me of. That it's like, yes, she's being very very hard on them, and very hard on her sister, but she's doing this to make sure that they do it right. You know, they do it right, they get better, they they make sure you know this they aren't special. They gotta do this, you know, they gotta put in the work, and they are, they are, which is why you know with Nijika. She immediately put in, you know, put in the, the harshness, you know, the tough love of, you know, hey, you know, why would I put you in? I put you in last time just to be nice. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that again. You know, you guys aren't good enough to do it. Nijika runs off after giving her weird uh, parting shot, which was funny. Um, I love that it worked, too. That they started looking at pictures of her snuggling a stuffed animal while she slept and it just, it, and it did piss her off. But then, pretty much immediately after that, uh, Bochi goes over there to tell to tell her and tell all of them that it's like, hey, she said we're going to have to audition. So, so honestly, it makes sense. It, it makes sense why she's that she did this, you know. And even then, you know, after the audition, you know, she did kind of downplay it a bit. You know, she did downplay it a bit, kind of mislead them basically kind of get their hopes down so they could be brought back up, you know? They did pass. With colors. Not flying colors. Just colors. You're better. You you all are clearly way better. You're clearly doing well. But there is stuff that needs to be done. The drumming is tense. The bassist is in her own little world. And the guitarists keep looking down at their guitars. This cannot be a thing. Now that's, for me, that's crazy. Because... I probably would be doing that too, you know? I would probably be looking down at the guitar, not paying attention to what's going on down there. But you can't be doing that, you know? You have to be looking towards the audience to let them in on the music, you know? It, it would be the same thing if I was, like, playing piano. I would want to be doing that instead of looking up at the people, you know? So, so that's the thing. They are better. They are significantly better, but they still got work to do, and they are inspired now to make sure that they can do this and achieve their dreams. Uh, what is Nijika's dream? We don't know. What is Nijika's dream? She seemed to imply she wants even more than, you know, selling out this, you know, whatever the place that Bochi said, you know? So what could it be? What What is she trying to achieve? Huh. 
You know what I just noticed? I because as I was doing, I was looking down. You know, I probably don't look at the camera enough. I don't know, maybe I do. But I, you know, there are a lot of times now that I think about it, where like if I'm talking, I'm kind of looking down or something, and it's like I should be looking at you guys. But because I was looking down, you know what I just noticed on the uh, the uh, little spine, which I guess it might be here on the front of the album too. Nope, no, it's not. Uh, but it's the Bochi the Rock logo. Um. Oh, okay, no, they are slightly different. I was gonna say the B in Bochi and the R in Rock are very similar. They're not quite the same. Uh, the B at the bottom here is uh, is rounded, whereas the R is a perfect right angle. So, sorry, I noticed that and I got distracted. So, I would probably fail reactor auditions. God, can you imagine if there were reactor auditions? I don't know, I probably wouldn't make it. Probably wouldn't make the cut. Who would, though? Who would make the cut? Certainly not, like, Sniper Wolf or XQC. They're terrible reactors. I mean, I'm, I don't know. You know what I, I think I excel at a lot is is my discussions. You know? I At least I want to say that. Uh, I want to say that I really excel at the discussions. Though I do think my reactions are fairly good. I hope they are. I mean, Jesus, you're watching them, you know? So, so I don't know. I would hope that. But, I don't know. You gotta look at you. It can't be looking down. What am I doing? So, I say that as I then look down. But I'm looking at my notes because I'm, I'm trying to see what the next thing to talk about is. Um, we did get money. We did get money. We got paid 10,000 yen. What is, what is that in uh, American dollars? Let's find out. Yen to USD. Can I just type it in? Okay. Ten thousand dollars. Ten or something. Ten thousand yen. Excuse me. Ten thousand yen is sixty-four dollars and sixty-six cents. Woof. That's that's really bad. I know the yen is pretty weak right now, but woof. Like if because the conversion I always put in my head. Uh, that I've put in my head for a few years, you know, like learning about Japanese culture. The conversion I've put in my head is just take out the decimal, basically. Like, or like, just put the decimal just behind the first two digits of yen, and that becomes dollars. So, in my mind, a hundred yen coin is one dollar. And so, 10,000 yen would, in my mind, that's a hundred dollars. But that's not it. Ten. Ah, there's a hair in my mouth. Ugh. Ten thousand yen. Turn into those those characters in SpongeBob. Ten thou the zen yen. Ten thousand yen is sixty four dollars and sixty six cents. That ain't good. That is that ain't good. A good straight conversion, is it? Jeez. I mean, it's still a good chunk of change for her to get. And then immediately have to pay back into the band, but still. But they're going. Slowly but surely, they're going. You know what I like, too? I like... I like how low we're starting, you know? Like, I feel like other shows... They would kind of start getting further and further along. I like just immediately, it's like, oh yeah, it's very expensive to make an album, you know? It's incredibly expensive to make an album, and, like, it's gonna take them a while. Like, I mean, they're not signed to any, like, contract or deal or anything, or to any record label. They're literally just a band that plays, you know, concerts at this club that one of them, you know, one of the bandmates' sisters runs, runs you know? So... So that's the thing. It's like, I like that it's like, no, we're starting, we're starting from the bottom. And it's a slow climb to the top. So, I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know if we're going to, like, you know, by the end of the season, are, are we going to be, you know, are we going to be at the top? Probably not. Um, or are we going to be, like, close? I don't know. I don't know how far we're going to get this season. But, but I'm curious. I'm curious, definitely. Um, yeah. And then, I guess the last thing to talk about is... Uh, is the uh, the whole thing about confidence? You know, she sees that Bochi is unconfident, and 
you know, she wants to help her and it's like, oh, you know, the, the, the thing that'll help her is knowing there's someone out there that believes in her. So she tries to do that. It's like, hey, I see you. This freaks her the fuck out. <laughs> this freaks her out to no end. And, and yeah, that just, that didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like, look, you can't beat around the bush. You just have to, like, go to her, take her by her shoulders, and say, you are really good at playing guitar. Do you need to improve? Yes, but you are really good, and you need to know this about yourself. You know? If you... Even then, I think she'll still freak out about something, you know? Either she'll take it the wrong way, or she'll just freak out that you're really close to her, you know? But there's something. Like, you have to be that direct if you want to get to her, you know? Because otherwise, her mind just goes places that you would never expect. So. So, yeah. Anywho, but still. But now we have the added uh, the added stress of we have to sell five tickets. And here's the thing. Because she's thinking, well, she's one short. You can't sell the ticket to the dog, though. So if you sell a ticket to your, your dad, your mom, and your sister, you're too short. And then that's a question of are, can you sell a ticket to your family? You know? Uh, reminds me... I don't know what what happened to this, but like... There was, like, some class project, I remember, where it's like, oh, you have to interview someone about their life or something. And I was and I was just like, what the fuck? I don't know anybody. I don't know. It's like, because you're supposed to be, like, you know, not like your friend, like you're, like someone your own age, but, like, you know, someone in the workforce or someone, like, an, an uncle or someone or family member. And I'm just sitting, I remember sitting there, and I was like, I don't want to do that. I can't remember what I did. I mean, dropped out of that class is probably what I did. That was probably one of those college classes, like freshman year, where I walked in and then we all got in a circle to introduce ourselves, and I immediately dropped out of that class and got a refund. Because I was like, this is useless. <sighs> yeah, that class was horrible. It, it was... What... I didn't even know how to describe it. It it wasn't necessarily, like, a class towards, like, our major. And this was in college. This was freshman year of college. But it was a class... It, it was, like, a class that apparently only ran for, like, two months. Like, it, it ended halfway through the semester. But it was more about, like, the school. I don't know how to describe this without it sounding weird. But, I mean, it was weird. And, yeah, like, the first day... We, like, had to get in a circle, and we had to talk about ourselves. And I think it was a thing where it's like, oh, and you also have to repeat what the person in front of you said before you before you say your thing. So that, you know, to obviously show that you're listening. And I remember there was, an there was another thing where it's like, every Friday, uh, we were going to do, like, a show and tell. Like, someone was going to do a show and tell, basically. And it's like, oh, it could be like, you know, what movies you watch, you know, what are your hobbies? It could be the music you listen to. And so all of that was in that first class that that I went to. And uh, what I literally what I literally did, I think I've told this story before on the sh uh, in some video. I don't remember what, but I wrote down everything about that class. And it took up like a sizable chunk of a page. And I wrote down everything because I went, I had to go, like, pick up my mom from work, basically. There's something wrong with one of the cars, so I had to go pick her up after her, after her work day was done. And I just had the notebook, and I just explained everything weird about that class. And she was like, okay, go drop out, because that's the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> so, Yeah. Anywho, none of this is none of this matters. None of this matters to the episode. I just thought I would let you. I just thought I'd tell that story. I don't know, cause it's dumb. But anyway, but I understand where she's coming from. Of like, how is she going to sell five tickets? You know, she doesn't know five people. You know, so bit of a trouble there. Bit of a trouble. So I don't know. I guess that'll that'll be what we work on next time. 
But that is basically it. With all of that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around any of those. There's a playlist with all of my Boche reactions as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.